We look at now uh, perfect failure detectors. So, what's the interface to a perfect failure detector? So, we assume that we have the instances P, and it has only one event, which is the device, whenever it detects that PI has crashed, it uh, outputs a crash event. So, this is our P failure detector, and the failure detector will output a crash events of PI to the upper layer. And the two properties that we have for perfect failure detector is uh, strong completeness. If an node is failed, it will uh, be detected. And strong accuracy, which if an node is detected, then it has crashed. That's fine. So we restate these properties again, strong completeness. Eventually, every node that crashes is permanently detected by every correct node. Strong accuracy, if P is detected by any node, then P has crashed. And we can look at these properties and uh, you can see if it is liveness or safety properties we are discussing. So eventually, every node um, that crash will be detected is a liveness property. And it cannot go wrong, basically. We have to wait until we detect uh, the crash of a process. And uh, the other one is, of course, uh, a liveness property, a safety property, sorry, <laughs> because uh, you don't want to detect uh, falsely detect nodes. Okay. So let us look to the implementation of P in synchronous system. We are assuming a synchronous system. So we have max transmission time between zero and delta time units. And the algorithm works as follows. So each node, every gamma time units, it send a heartbeat to all nodes. And a node waits gamma, this is the this duration, plus delta, the max transmission time. And if it did not get a heartbeat from a certain process PI, so it will declare that PI has clashed. Okay. So let's look now to the correctness of P. The first property is uh, strong uh, completeness, but let's look again to this picture. And we are looking to process the failure detector of process PJ. So every other process, as long as it is alive, it will send a heartbeat. So this heartbeat should be received at PJ during this period. Okay, so this is what is, and this period is gamma plus delta, which delta is a tra max transmission time. So, if PI crashes, it will not send a heartbeat, and eventually, PJ will not see any heartbeats from uh, PI, and it will declare PI uh, as crashed. Now let us look to strong accuracy. So, for strong accuracy, we assume that the local computation is negligible, so, and the maximum time between the reception of two heartbeats, reception of two heartbeats from the same node will be um, gamma plus delta because this is the period where a process can send a heartbeat and if it sends a heartbeat here the next heartbeat should be sent at 
most here so it should arrive before gamma plus delta time units at pj so that is so if we wait for gamma plus delta time units then and we didn't receive anything from pi then uh, pi um, should have crashed and therefore we can declare that pi has crashed so there is no inaccuracy because the inaccuracy happens if you declare early that a process has crashed but we know that within this time period the process should have finished um, and should have we should have received uh, a heartbeat uh, 